In this video, I will listen to and rank each Dead by Daylight killer's chase music. It was a lot of fun to hear the segments independently outside of the game, and I definitely noticed a lot of great composition and orchestration work. All right, let's get into it. Here are the basics of the music that accompanies a killer in Dead by Daylight. We must first understand the difference between the Terror Radius music variants and chase music. The Terror Radius music plays for survivors whenever they are inside the killer's Terror Radius. The music gets progressively louder and more aggressive the closer in proximity the killer is to the survivor. There are variations of Terror Radius music at 32, 16, and 8 meters. This video will be ranking the closest proximity version, the chase music. As of right now, there are 27 killers in Dead by Daylight. You might be wondering if each single killer has their own unique chase music. The answer is no, they do not. 11 out of the 27 killers share the same three generic chase themes. These 11 killers are Trapper, Wraith, Nurse, Hag, Huntress, Bubba, Freddy, Piggy, Legion, Ghostface, and The Plague. Alright, let's take a listen to the three generic chase themes. Theme 2 and 3 are similar in their rhythmic content, while Theme 1 is quite different. Let's hear Theme 1 first. The tempo is very bright and pushes forward with a repetitive 16th note rhythm that appropriately represents the energy of a chase. The voice that has the majority of the chase context is the percussion mix. The drum grouping is in a repetitive 4-beat sequence with a few variations but very similar to a rhythm guitar pattern in a metal track. There is also some great slap bass playing going on underneath all those layers of percussion. Here and there we get a taste of some slow, evil-like brooding crescendos tucked under both those layers. Listen closely, you can hear the low brass swells mixed in with nice dissonance in the high brass. It's very cool. The second theme is very different from the first. Immediately, we're hit with a rhythmic foundation based in groupings of threes or more commonly referred to as triplets. It has a less pronounced intensity as the first accents are heavy on every downbeat with three less heavy beats afterwards. This rhythmic system repeats. There is also a really great bass line going on underneath all of this like the first theme. We do have some brass swells and hits that come up from below, but they are more pronounced than the first theme was. Theme 3 is very similar to the rhythmic structure as Theme 2. Immediately we hear a timbre difference as Theme 3 has less low musical components, opening it up and giving a lighter feel in comparison. The percussive sequence is basically the same as the second, but we have a focus on the distorted bass line as the musical chase mechanism. The real difference is that this version has a bridge, a section that provides contrast to the rest of the composition. We can hear halfway through the piece that the instrumentation gets lighter, the end of the bridge has a clever metric modulation. That is a change in the rhythmic pulse with how we perceive subdivision. Basically, at the end of theme 3, the dotted eighth note gets the beat and feels like it's going somewhere else right as it repeats back to the start. Very, very cool writing. For my ranking list in this video, all three of these themes will be considered as one chase music. However, if I had to rank them individually, I would say that Theme 3 was the coolest, followed by 1, and then finally Theme 2. We do need to rank these against all the other killers' unique chase music. Seeing how these three generic chase themes represent about 40% of the killer group, we will set this as the C tier. Everything else would be ranked in comparison. Now that we have that information, let's move on to killers that have unique chase music and rank them accordingly. The 
dominant voice in her chase music is the bass line, which is primarily just a single root note with a few progression changes. It has an aggressive accented pulse that drives the composition, but definitely a different bass role from a lot of the other characters' music. The percussion is fast and a bit similar to other drum layers we have heard. If you take away the layer of synthesizer string instruments, I can't help but hear merengue and salsa percussion rhythms in my head. Not much going on here musically in comparison to other characters' chase music. With all of that in mind, we're going to put Spirit in the D tier down here below everyone else. Here we have what is likely the simplest music composition and probably the most iconic. The Hollywood slasher really gives you a sense of imminent danger with his chase music. The DVD version is actually an arrangement of the song called The Hanger from the original Halloween film. Overall, it's quite short, just two bars in length. The psychotic high-pitched synth is repeated over accompanied by the low-end staccato brass stamps. There is a horror movie glissando from the string section at the end of each bar. This music really lets you know no matter how fast you move, Michael can definitely move faster. Probably going to offend some Meyer mains here, but musically speaking, it just does not stand in comparison. That is going to be a D tier. Billy's chase music is an in-between of generic theme 2 and 3. It's the same tempo as theme 3, which is about 10 beats per minute slower than theme 2. We have the same triplet feel, but with an accent pattern emphasizing the first two beats of every sequence. The cool bass line from the generic theme is not there, and instead we have some mid-range ascending lines in the inner layer. While it's cool, the Cold Wind Killer gets his own unique chase music, and, uh, and this is coming from a Billy main, by the way. It's just, it's just not as cool as the generic theme, so that's going to be another D tier for me. Oni's music is very percussion heavy with taiko like rhythms pulling the listener in. The sequence patterns are in simple groupings of four with drum heavy stabs on the downbeats. Underneath all of that is a bass drone acting as the metaphorical basement for this music. My favorite part is the metallic anvil sound, which is most likely just a triangle, but it has a cool reoccurring rhythm the entire time. This makes me want to run the other way for sure. Oni is another D tier uh, chase music killer for me just because his music is so simple, but in this D tier, I would say uh, he's the coolest, so. We got that. Immediately we can hear a rhythmic resemblance to generic chase theme one. As we get a bit deeper, the compositional ideas of the sound sit in between a mix of horror genre metal and Chinese group drumming. According to the DVD wiki, some file names reveal that during game development, the Doctor was originally called Mu Yi, a name that sees the Doctor's likely original nationality as either Chinese or Korean. I feel that the character design fits the chase music well, or it's a very smooth coincidence as far as the percussion goes. I definitely like what they've done, so for me, the Doctor is going to join the ranks of the C tier. Carmina's music has a huge low end groove underneath all the chaos of sound. There is a repeating percussive pattern that sounds like the slow motion flapping of wings. This cadence repeats in a group of two for the entire chase music. The high end layer is crammed full of the obligatory horror movie scary violin screeches that fall away in descending patterns. The middle is a congested highway of fast moving sounds. One notable characteristic about her chase music is the use of extreme bass drops tying it all together. I definitely like it. It is pretty repetitive, but those bass drops are real nice. So we're going to we're going to drop here right on the C tier.
The trickster's chase music is an immediate wall of sound. At the forefront of it all is a police-like siren ringing that descends a large range of pitch that seems to sneak its way into loops. There is a similar imitation of that in the middle and low end musical layers. One could interpret all this as perhaps horns, slowed down screams, or music tracks. There is a light layer of quick moving, hi-hat like percussion in the background, tying together all these sinister components of sound. Outstanding chase music. This is going to be our first killer taking the B tier for sure. The Cenobite's music immediately attacks us and does not let up. The phrasing is very short and simple. It's built with measures that have just two beats in them and each downbeat has a very loud drum accent. There is an evil sounding crescendo of dissonance by the brass at the end of each measure. That crescendo is almost a swing feel interpretation of rhythm in comparison to the rest of the measure. Considering Pinhead's pleasure and pain type of torment, the wailing vocals above mixed in with the fast moving notes in the middle matches character very well. If you listen carefully, you can hear deep growls and low tones existing beneath it all. Very well written. For me, Pinhead is going right next to Trickster on the B tier. The demo's chase music is very rudimentary in composition, yet quite effective in creating a unique sound experience. The tempo is very bright, utilizing a simple repeated pulse as the rhythmic melody. Harmonically speaking, we have sequences of ascending and descending stacks of notes that clash together, creating effective use of dissonance. In much clearer terms, it feels like an EDM track mashed up with the Jaws theme. Straightforward, but very, very cool. Demogorgon will take his place next to his buddy Pinhead on the good old B tier. The music immediately hits us with intensity and percussive syncopation. My ear is drawn to the steam-like sound effects that almost give off a factory vibe. I think of a steel mill, which would make sense considering the amount that's on his head. The low and mid layers are made up of evil-like bass lines that shape the chase. There are also hi-hat drum patterns that intertwine with those low lines, creating the repetitive flow. Very well designed chase music. For me, the executioner will sit comfortably on the B tier. The focal point of his arrangement is the aggressive power of the trombones. We hear short length two note grouped patterns that cut through the rest of the sounds in this chase music. Underneath the trombones is a complicated contour of dissonant waves, some strings and high brass. One of the coolest characteristics of this music is the percussion part that is playing a halftime backbeat groove that is disguised underneath all that other music chaos. A very unique and well written chase music. For me, Blight is safely the leader of the pack of the B tier chase music. I absolutely love this chase music. The repeating descent of circus type sounds portray a maniacal character on the hunt. There are three layers to this music that create a very seamless flow. The top voice is a circus game sound that is descending in fast repeated sequences. 
The middle voice uses low brass that descends supporting the circus sound, but is much slower in rhythmic comparison. The way those two voices are weaved together creates an almost undetectable loop. My favorite part of this composition is the foundation layer of the concert snare drum. It's a very straightforward pattern, but it ties it all together. Underneath all of this is an evil drone sounding synthesizer part. Seriously, great job on this composition. I honestly can't say enough good things about this music. Clown is easily our first A tier chase music killer. Slinger has a dominant four on the floor drum pulse that propels his chase music forward. The middle voice uses a set of echoed rhythms repeated over the entire length of the composition. The main musical layer is an eerie chordal sound that creeps back and forth in pitch. It does a very good job of creating a scary vibe with the top layer resonating like a western movie banshee of some sort. Very clever use of music that fits his character perfectly. They did such a great job conveying that Western feel, using programmatic music to really just say who he is. So for me, this is just, it's, it's S tier all the way. Okay, so there's a lot of cool stuff going on in this one. Let's start with the predominant voice up top. We basically have a 16th note triplet rhythmic sound that functions as the repeating rhythmic melody. There are accented entrances mixed with bits of syncopation. This use of rhythm fits so well with this killer because the sense of musical time is constantly shifting. To me, that is completely programmatic of the jumping between Charlotte and Victor. The middle layer of this music is a haunting drone that stays constant, likely representing the pain of their lore story. In between all of that is a mix of sounds that is pretty similar to the clowns music. Even though their lore timeline predates what we know as typical circus music, it could potentially borrow into the idea of outcast characters from a circus lifestyle. This is an absolute home run on chase music composition. They 100% nailed this one. For me, the twins are going right up there on the S tier. Sadako's chase music is straight up intense and to the point. You need to run. Immediately, the percussion part jumps out, shaping everything about this composition. It's in 3-4 time and it is very repetitive. There are actually 13 bars of that 3-4 time and then it gives us some syncopation turning the groove all around on itself. Such cool writing and a very effective use of an ostinato. In comparison to the other chase themes, this one is much thinner in how many instruments are used in the overall orchestration. There is a dominant cello pattern in the middle with light fast moving notes decorating the layer above. That upper layer almost sounds like flies or buzzing bees. I really, really love this composition. I think I'm going to sit in front of that TV and even answer the phone when it rings if I get to listen to this music. This is just, this is S tier all the way. The Fist of Raccoon City comes packed with an exhilarating chase music. Nemesis hits us with a dark and brooding progression using the low brass as a chord melody. The ominous blasts have a cool rhythmic pattern to them. The measure groupings are as follows. Four bars of 4-4 four, four time, then a sequence that is repeated three times. That sequence being one bar of 4-4, four, four, then a bar of 2-4. Very cool musical writing. Underneath the chord blasts are explosive percussion parts. Above the chords are upper woodwinds and strings outlining the same chord progression as the low brass. This is just a perfect use of orchestration to musically accompany a chase. Just outstanding. 
for me this is just the quintessential kick ass chase music there there's no other place for nemesis to go except for right here at the very very tippy top i mean let's be real if i was still teaching high school marching band full time i would write that out that that would be what we played for when the football team ran out of the tunnel and took the field it's just it's just so epic i can't say enough good stuff please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can catch my next dead by daylight upload let me know in the comments below which killer's chase music you like the most my name is drumroll tony and thank you so much for watching the video all right we'll see you on the next one peace out